what's going on? What is going on here? I mean, what is this? That's all, that's all I want to know is why. Why? 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 Please, can someone tell me, for the love of the Lord, what is this? What is this? What's what's this? <laughs> what is this right here? Yeah, what's, what's that? What's that right there? Right here. Oopsie. What's this? Okay. This is weird. Yeah, this, this, this. What is this? What's that? <laughs> this is where things get dangerous, and this is where I have to come out and be like, "All right." pause let's pause and let's relax <laughs> so obviously let's do a little background here so i can remember when harry styles does a photo shoot where he's wearing dresses okay he's wearing dresses and then candace owens who's this big conservative lady says you know bring back manly men why are the the feminization of, of men happening in Western society, blah zee, blah blah blah, and so forth. You know why are men being feminized in in, in the West? You know in in the East they already know they understand the need for, you know, men to be men, women to be women. Um, and then you now look at, then he then comes back with this, referencing what Candace Owen says says bring back manly men. But it is what he said. In his post, that is troubling, because he says that. You should be feel free to wear whatever clothes you, you like. And the lines are getting blurred. So, Harry. Harry Jeremiah. So, are you telling me that I should allow a six-year-old boy to wear dresses? Is that, is that what you're saying? I, I think that I should, we should allow six- and seven-year-olds to put on lipstick wear dresses wear high high heels and wear um long earrings is, it, is, is that what you're saying because this is dangerous now i'm not a conservative i'm not a liberal <laughs> i'm an in, in, independent so i am not here writing for candace owens i'm not here writing for liberals and Harry Styles. i'm here for truth candace owens is right she is right some of the stuff that she says, forget about the stuff that she said, but for this matter, she is right. Is in the West, they want to break down the, the family. In the West, you are demonized for being a man. You're demonized for being alpha male. You know, you're having a society where the women are the men and the men are the women. And the danger is this is now almost bleeding down to the youth. And for me, it's completely and not really stupid. Because... Why should you be demonized to act like how you naturally are? Now, not all men act or have the kind of, you know, primal kind of instincts that a man has. Not all women have the kind of nurturing aspect that women have. But the majority of men naturally do. The majority of women naturally do. And what people in society are doing is they're trying to go against nature. They're trying to go against nature. For me, it is categorically wrong to teach little kids, boys, um, specifically boys, that it is fine to dress like this. That is wrong because you will confuse them and you will do more harm than good. But even more so, now this is the danger here. Men are naturally stronger than women. Men are less emotional and have less emotional baggage than women. That's a fact. Women are better carers and nurturers than men. Women are more organized than men. Women are better and multitasking than men. This is just how it is. Now, of course, you'll find some women who don't have as much emotional baggage. You'll find some men who have a lot of emotional baggage, but the majority of men are a certain way, the majority of women are a certain way. Hence why the structure of the family has to remain like that. We are no better than our fellow animals, okay? Okay, we are not this special species where we're like, oh, no, no, men can, women, women can, men, because, because human beings are so special. No, 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 no. Turn on a David Attenborough nature thing. 
sit down and learn because we share a lot of similarities to those in the animal kingdom with, with regards to this is what the female of this species do this is what the male of this species to analyze just a nature that is structured you can't mess with biology it is what it is if you try to mess with nature you will get slapped in the face trust me on that so because when because obviously see whenever you can see whenever you go online i see you online is it's a microcosm and it's, it's, it's a microcosm of society. It is not really the majority of society, but the kind of narrative that you see is, oh my gosh, Harry Styles is being so good. He's um, he's doing his, his thing. He's, he's so free. And you know what Candace Owens is saying is hateful and so forth. It's like, so I, I said to people like, okay, what are you now trying to promote now? Because the, the thing that sickens me is how you see a lot of beta males. Yeah, beta males who suck up to women and pretty much try to act like butlers, slaves, and servants to women. This is what has happened particularly in the West. And the issue you're having is you're seeing these things, and I've been seeing it for many years. This is what me and my brothers and my sister, we talk about a lot, saying about how, women, especially the women in the West, they want to be, become men. They want to be, they want to be like guys. And a lot of women in the West, they want guys like Harry Styles. They champion guys like Harry Styles. And other guys, let's say, like me or so forth, we are seen as cavemen. We are seen as these primal guys who are now out of age. But Harry Styles represents the modern problem and how a man should, 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 should be. That's complete utter bullcrap. A man should be strong. A man should be a leader. A man should take charge and a man should be in control. And there are many women, forget about what gets promoted by Me Too movements, all this kind of stuff movements promoted by the fake feminists who are mostly white women, okay? Because the modern feminist mov movement is a movement of power led by rich, middle to upper class white women. It's not led by women as a whole. It's led by particular privileged white women. They're the ones who are um, perpetuating this bullcrap of men should be like this because they want men like Harry Styles so that they can rule over them and step over them because these women they want power and the only way they have power is if they feminize all these men these women they know that you will never have power if you have those old school alpha males who are like mates there is no place you're having any any current control over what we've built <laughs> okay because these men built Hollywood these men made these comic books. These men made this made these sports and made these things popular. You can't just come and now take over what we've now created. It's like it's a, it's a, it's a thing with like Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. The reason why people care about it, the reason why it was so famous and popular was because of a bunch of guys came up with the concept, created it, and executed it. But they're like, oh no, but we want to be part of it too. You, you, you were part of it. It was trash. So. That is the issue here, is that they are slowly trying to make this the norm. But the danger, the danger, I told you, I'm, 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 about, I'm about the kids. Your boy here was about the kids. It's about you trying to now teach this to young kids. If I had a, if I had a young boy and he was being told that it was fine to wear dresses, it was fine to wear lipstick, I will find that teacher or that school and I will beat the crap out of you and I would sue you. I would see you for you are trying to um, mentally scar and confuse my child. But that's what's happening because I only, because I was in school ages ago, long time ago, you know. So when I was in school, things were pretty much different. You know, guys were guys, girls were girls. Were girls. So, but stuff has changed so much because I was in school before social media. Social media wasn't really a thing like, this was really before iPhones, before Twitter, before YouTube was in its early stages, out of, before Facebook really. So this was way back in the day. But now in the day of Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and so forth, the world has, has, has changed. And what I fear is that in many of these schools, boys are becoming very feminine. And the boys who are sort of being propped up are the more feminine boys. And girls are now almost forced to be a bit more manly and sort of walk over and step over guys. And that's dangerous because that will mess with society. Because I'm so this this is the, the fact of the matter. You women can't be 
if you have a woman and a man, they can't be head of a family. That that can't work unless if, if it's a, if it's a single parent, one hundred percent, women can come in and do an amazing job because women are amazing multitaskers, and we have to champion those amazing mothers and single parents who who have had to come in. But even those single parents, you can never fulfill the role of the father. So all these women said, "Oh, let's destroy the patriarchy. Let's do that. The patriarchy. The patriarchy is needed. It's needed because there are specific things that a father gives you that a mother can't give give you and i sort of felt the effects of that because i didn't really have a strong father figure in my life you know because i pretty much effectively came from a single parent's family i was pretty much parented by my mom and i already know that i was missing that father figure strong male father figure in my thingy which had to sort of be fulfilled by my big brothers you know who aren't really don't don't really have the experience that an older guy would so you guys say that let's men dress up in dresses, let's destroy the patriarchy, you know, men, you know, chauvinistic male, toxic mask. What the, I mean, what the hell is toxic mass masculinity? What what is that? <laughs> so I wanna go to the gym, I wanna drink beer, I wanna hang out with my guys, I wanna just talk about girls and stuff, and that's not toxic masculinity. Bro. As I said again, Harry, man, mates, don't don't poison the youth. Don't poison. It. See, Harry, you, if you want to wear dresses, cool. Jaden Smith, you want to wear dresses, cool. You can do that. Don't promote this as a norm, and don't promote this to young boys and young kids, man. Guys, remember to subscribe, like the vid, see your boy out there. H H. Peace to the out. One.